Okay, kids. Tim here from High End Cheap Tech. Tonight we're doing the unboxing on the Mi A3 uh, phone from Xiaomi. This is a Google One or Android One device. It says Fear Google. And uh, I'll get it out of the box. We'll go over it a little, what's in the box. And then I'll put the case I bought for it a few weeks back on it, the Paralinso case. And uh, I'll give you my you know, short-term impressions, and then we're going to eventually shove the uh, uh, card into it, the SIM card, tonight probably, right after this video, and it'll become the daily driver. This thing fits in my hand just perfect, folks, just perfect. It's closer in size to the uh, um, new mobile G3 than it would appear. I mean, it's actually over six inches tall versus, you know, 5.7, but it just feels just about perfect. Nothing wrong with the uh, Redmi Note 8, but it has other issues that stupid me why and etc etc uh, and all the xiaomi phones seem to have issues with formatting micro sd cards for expansion they they tend to i mean the me a3 which i've already unboxed i'm shooting this last uh literally saw the 128 gig card as 256. What's up with that? I don't know. The Redmi Note 8 would only format it as an external storage, you know, container. What's up with that? So, I'm still poking around trying to figure those out. But let's get right to the intro, and I'll get to that unboxing right after. Let's do this. All right, folks, Tim here from High and Cheap Tech. I'm back. Now let's do this unboxing of the Mi A3. This one's all in English. Kind of cool. So, nice one. Slide. and this should be all we need to do to get that uh, wrapper off there. Wouldn't it be cool if I could do this all on camera? Yeah. Yeah, let's try to do that on the camera. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Rip, tear, remove. And of course, this is an Android One phone, unlike the. Uh, Redmi Note 8. It only has three cameras versus the four on the Note 8. But it's got one huge advantage. It's pure Google. So let's uh, see if we can get it out of here. I'll put a little force uh, off camera here. You can just okay. Now let's uh, <clears throat> let's 
see what's in the box. And we have our usual piece up here. Mm -hmm. Underneath we have our mini tree with our ultra wide angle and our 32 megapixel selfie, which is a better camera than the Redmi Note 8 comes with for selfie. But we'll see what's in this box. Mm -hmm. And I guess it's going to be a case of some sort. And there it is, a nice little black case. Cool. Soft TPU. And, ooh. And some instructions. And, hmm. A warranty card, even. And. Huh. Hmm. And as you can see, most of this is written in English, I believe. Kind of a big change. Yep. Show me warranty notice. Blah, 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 blah. All right. And. Here's our show me owner's manual. There you go. All in English. We'll check those out later. Obviously the case is very slick. We'll set it off to the side and then we're gonna get the gizmo out. Hmm. Hmm. Just uh, lay that over there. We'll see what's what we got underneath. Uh, of course, we're going to have a. We have a USB-C cable. Just have to take my word for that. Because do this short, fast, to the point. And we have a charger here, uh, which will charge the phone at, uh, well, I guess, and as you can see, thank God they sent the adapter. Five volts, two amps. Nothing amazing. And that's pretty much everything in the box. So, uh, let's see if we can cram this back in here. Right. And we can. All right. Now. We're going to slide off our little packaging. May spend uh, plastic pack. Oh, yeah. And uh, we have a A micro SD and two more SIM card slots. All right, cool. So let's P 
appeal. Oops. It's very appealing. Mm -hmm. Pick those up. And of course in the front we have our yeah, that's in screen fingerprint sensor. Wondrous. Yeah, good silence. Waiting for one of those my whole life. I think that's a gimmick, but we'll live with it. Because, well, we must live with it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna take that out. And there's the phone and all its beautificent glory right there. And then we're going to use uh, this thing, SD card tool here from, uh, and I'm pretty sure. Look closer at it on the SD card. Extender in this box somewhere. Yeah, once again, I open it. And there it sits. A little shorter, but same exact thing. Mm -hmm. Here's the uh, Redmi Note 8. Of course, we don't need that. We have a Redmi Note 8 one right here. So, now that we've got all this crap out of the way, we're going to go ahead and uh, pop it open and try to put our micro SD in there and then we'll set it up. Let's see if there's any juice on it from the factory. Ooh. Android one folks. Android one. I mean I'll get quicker updates. Then we'll teardrop notch up here, which I'm going to have to learn to live with. Well, that's life. And hi there, start your basic Google. We'll be back after we get everything set up. And a nice click when you turn it off. All right. All right, folks, I'm back. Got the uh, Mini 3 set up. If we just move it a little here. Yeah. There's our fingerprint. And what the hell happened there? This is why I do not like in-screen fingerprint readers. But it does function. It's quick when you get your finger just right. <coughs> so, as you can see, nowhere in the hell anyone. I've got, you know, my standard Google on there. Got the stupid pill navigation that should really go away. And then uh, I'd like to have my buttons back. You know, I'm a big fan of those. Can't find a setting for that. And this is pure Google without it being there. Navigation buttons or whatever. Uh, should be there. Should be an option. But apparently, Xiaomi has opted to tweak Google, and they shouldn't have. But it's nice and it's bright. It's at about half brightness right there, folks. Uh, 
If you turn the adaptive brightness on this thing, it's going to last all day easily. Uh, so for the foreseeable future, the SIM card will go in here, but uh, we won't put the wireless charging on the back. We'll reserve that for the Mi A2 versus the Mi A3 because of the 4,000 versus 3,000 milliamp hour battery. <coughs> so, all that being said, we've taken the Ferrolismo, Ferrolismo, Linso, Linso case out. And now we're going to go ahead and lock this puppy up. And then we're going to put our case on. This is a nice case, folks. Pretty sturdy. I think it's better than the one that comes in the box. Uh, and I would wipe the fingerprints off the back of our almost gray or whatever they call it. It's sort of gray uh, back, but we don't need to because you can't see through this thing. Boom. We got carbon fiber kind of look going there. Nice, deep protection around the camera so you can set it that way good lip all the way around really good all the way around so you can set it this way even if you don't have a you know screen protector on it I'll eventually add one uh, but in the meantime This thing is a very g good phone, folks. And anyone who tells me 720 ain't good enough is so full of shit. I guarantee your eyes are brown. So, uh, that's pretty much the whole unboxing. If you found this useful and informative, and we'll play around with the cameras. We're still doing that on the Redmi. Uh, Note 8. Pretty much the same cameras. This one doesn't have the macro lens. The uh, Redmi does. But other than that, uh, what can I say? It's just what it is. Be sure to leave feedback in the description below. Tell me what you want me to test. I'm not going to do a camera compare between the two because other than the fact the one has a macro lens and the other doesn't, I will do one between the Mi A2, <coughs> which we're shooting this video on, <coughs> and <coughs> the Mi A3, and or the uh, uh, Redmi Note 8. Now... That's all I got. So like, share, subscribe, give us that thumbs up. And thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.